नोटिस फॉर द इलेक्शन प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस जिसमें औपचारिक तौर पर इस बारे में जानकारी दी जाएगी आंकड़ा हालांकि सामने आ गया है लेकिन औपचारिक ऐलान बाकी है चुनाव आयोग की यह महत्वपूर्ण प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस जिसका सभी को इंतजार था कुल 725 वोट पड़े 528 बीजेपी को एक मार्गरेट अल्बा के पक्ष में जगदीप धनखड़ को पांच वोट और अब सुनते हैं इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस को ऑन नहीं किया ओके हम्म अब जैसे ही शुरुआत होती है अब जारी बताए जाएंगे आंकड़े वैसे ही आपको दिखाएंगे तस्वीरें लेकिन उसके पहले दूसरी तस्वीरें आप देख रहे हैं झुंझुनू की झुंझुनू के किठाना गांव में आतिशबाजी की तस्वीरें अनाज जलाए जा रहे हैं आतिशबाजी जबरदस्त तरीके से की जा रही है क्योंकि यही वो गांव है जहां पर अट्ठारह मई उन्नीस को झुंझुनू में जन्मे जगदीप धनखड़ जाने माने वकील भी हुए न सिर्फ राजस्थान के बल्कि धीरे धीरे उनका देश में भी कद बढ़ता हुआ चला गया सुप्रीम कोर्ट के वरिष्ठ अधिवक्ता रहे राजस्थान हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन के बार एसोसिएशन के प्रेसिडेंट भी रहे ये प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस जिसका बेसब्री से इंतजार किया जा रहा था नोटिस फॉर द इलेक्शन for the office of vice president was issued on 5th july 2022 in all 50 nomination papers were received till the last date for submission of nomination papers after scrutiny nomination papers filed by shri jagdeep dhankar and shrimati margaret alva were found valid the polling for the 16th vice presidential election 2022 which commenced at 10 am today in the parliament house closed at 5 pm out of 780 electors comprising of elected and nominated members of rajya sabha and elected members of lok sabha 725 electors cast their votes the total elector turnout was accordingly 92.94% the ballot box was sealed immediately after the close of poll at 5 pm in the presence of authorized representatives of contesting candidates and election observers the counting of votes commenced at 6 pm after the ballot box was opened in the presence of authorized representatives of the contesting candidates election observers and counting officers 725 votes were polled which was 92.94% of the total electorate 710 votes were found valid and 15 votes were found to be invalid thus the percentage of valid votes is 97.93% the quota sufficient to get a candidate elected is determined by dividing the total number of first preference votes secured by both candidates by 2 and then adding 1 to the quotient the quota necessary for being elected to the office of vice president of uh, vice president of india was determined to be 356 votes on the basis of counting shri jagdeep dhankar secured 528 first preference votes and shrimati margaret alwa 182 votes therefore in pursuance of the provisions contained in section 11 of the presidential and vice presidential elections act 1952 31 of 1952 read with rule 35 of the presidential and vice presidential election rules 1974 I Utpal Kumar Singh the returning officer for the vice presidential election 2022 hereby declare that Sri Jagdeep Dhankar Raj Bhavan Ward 45 Hare Street Kolkata 700001 has been duly elected to the office of vice president of India
I will be forwarding to the Election Commission of India Form 7 under Rule 35.1c, which is the return of election to the office of the Vice President of India and also a declaration of result of election under Section 11 of the Presidential and Vice Presidential Elections Act 1952, read with Rule 35 of the Presidential and Vice Presidential Election Rules 1974. Election Commission of India would then prepare the certification of the election of Sri Jagdeep Dhankar as the Vice President of India, jointly signed by the Chief Election Commissioner of India, Sri Rajiv Kumar, and Election Commissioner Sri Anup Chandra Pandey. Thank you.